Okay, um, a conversation that was going on on one of the IRC groups reminded me that I haven't really shown much about uh, squeak exception handling and debugging. So let's uh, go back to our trusty testing testing package. Way here at the bottom. Now we're going to create a new message called divide by one. A number. We aren't going to do any real testing here, but we could if we wanted. So let's return, or actually let's print transcript show a number divided by zero. Now, to avoid confusion, it may not be absolutely necessary. I'm going to wrap that in a parenthesis, so it's going to refer to the whole thing. I know, I know, I've got a problem here. Divide by zero is not allowed in most languages, including squeak. But let's see what happens anyway. Transcript show, divide by zero. Okay, so let's go back over to create my test colon equals test new. Now we're going to say my test divide by one my test send it the divide by one message and say let's divide seven by one and do it. Uh huh. We have a problem. It says zero divide. There's a there's a error message, zero divide. So let's break into the debugger. And we see that we were working with a specific method called divide by one. Well, <laughs> zero isn't one, so let's correct that. And save it. And now proceed. And in fact, once we proceeded, we got the answer seven. Seven divided by one is seven. So we were able to basically debug our code without any muss, without any fuss, and just continue. You see that in a lot of modern systems, but actually uh, this was available in, in Smalltalk, oh, 30 something years ago. And in fact, if you ask any compiler writer, they'll tell you that basically they've been working to recreate the Smalltalk features that were available 30 years ago. Food for thought.